Large parts of Yahas Fontaine are still blanketed in grey. Several roads are inaccessible to the sludge from a collapsed mine dam. Learning and teaching has been affected. Displaced families are sheltered at a local church. The ANC says the incident will exacerbate the already depressing situation. The party has made reference to a similar disaster in Virginia in 1994. In that incident, the mine dam also filled and flooded the suburb of Mary Sprite. A call has been made for mining companies to intensify safety measures. As the ANC, we, we are you know, a bit concerned about the conditions and the safety of the people as a result of uh, a production that is not uh, assuring safety of, of, of the community. We, we need to send our heartfelt condolences to the families affected. Mine owners, Yachas Fontaine Developments, say they are devastated. The company says it has set aside 20 million rand to assist the affected residents. It says the treatment facility has stabilized activity at the dam and that wastewater is not hazardous. However, the EFF is not impressed. The Red Beret have accused the government of grandstanding. Mine has been operational up until yesterday. Uh, these are the results of the very same mine here. It's so unfortunate that politicians are here but not here to assist people. They are here for their business interests, including the president of this country. The DA demands a thorough investigation on the cause of the disaster. We also want to know what the reasons were for this. Because when one has disasters of this nature, there should have been some sort of pre-warning that the authority should have taken into account to evacuate people in the areas that were in danger. The South African Human Rights Commission has deployed a team to assess the situation. Humanitarian aid organizations are on the ground to assist distraught residents. Apumelele Mdlalane, SABC News, Yachis Fontaine.